where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today we have a Woodford Reserve double oaked 43%, 43.2% ABV priced below 50 euros dollars pounds wherever you live and this is a Kentucky straight bourbon which matures in two casts after another so it's called officially a barrel finish selects double oaked um, I hope this bottle work out uh, with a green screen in the back it's the broadest bottle I ever had here on my cask and it does not fit in front of the well the white stand which helps me with the green screen so I hope it will work out otherwise forgive me Woodford Reserve is a whiskey from the Labro and Graham distillery a very old and famous distillery I don't know if they use this Labro and Graham name any longer because the Woodford Reserve the name is so popular or had been become so popular that they uh, I think they never use they do not use the Lebron and Graham any longer the specialty with this whiskey is it's produced on three pot stills uh, from Scotland from Richard Forthys he provided those stills uh, to the US and to this bourbon manufacturer the two casts they use after each other are the typical uh, bourbon casts Woodford Reserve uses for its normal or its very popular big brand and then they have a second cask afterwards which is especially long toasted so the uh, conversion process of the cellulose of the wooden the oak staves from the cask moves further into the oak and turns it with the toasting process into a, a caramel so they first the cellulose is cut into wood sugars and those wood sugars are converted into caramel after some time and the inside is only slightly charred the charring of the inside of the cask leads to well to sucking up the veins the uh, sharp uh, products of distillation but they are distilling in a triple fashion so these sharp ingredients do not uh, they do not need this extreme charcoal on the inside of the cask to absorb those uh, well unwanted aromas so where do we open this bottle no idea mm. So I like these extremely thick bottles because uh, we're running a mail order shop and uh, mail uh, this whiskey also to the Netherlands where they are listening in English to our tastings and the, the better the bottle is closed and sealed the better it is shipped to the customer and this is a wonderful cork. This smells caramel and spices and vanilla and wow it's so full so I hope the best coming up to my nose dark fruitiness little chocolate going over to marzipan oakiness toasted oak dark fruitiness wow this is a hefty massive Kentucky straight bourbon so there's a lot of in it so this is the typical 43.2 ABV in other countries I've seen they going up to 45 I think um, this is the 43.2 and this is massive yeah cheers full complex acting on my tongue with this incredible spiciness for a bourbon 
I've never had that before. Very, very strong spiciness. In the aftertaste, first chocolate, dark chocolate, then vanishing a little bit, going over to apples, to candied apples, probably creamy, long, and this sharpiness is vanishing fast. Wow, this is completely different to the Woodford Reserve, I know. Yeah, hefty. Mm -hmm. So that's it for today. Highly recommended. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come.